Google Scholar is an online resource which allows you to search for a range of resources from a number of different locations simultaneously. It's a little bit like the normal Google search engine, but will limit your search to particularly academic materials such as journal articles and books. It's recommended that you use the advanced search option on Google Scholar, as this will give you a number of different options to your search, including the ability to search within the title of the article or item that you're searching for, which will make your search a lot more relevant and hopefully find you much more useful material within your search results. Let's have a go at a search, and we're going to focus on social media for the topic of our search. So we'll just put that into the search box and then click on search. And here are our search results. You'll see that there are a number of different results that we found here. You may want a number of different items of information within your search results. So you'll see, first of all, in the middle section of the page, you will see your results. So you have title information about each of the items that we found. And most of these appear to be journal articles. And we've also got a brief summary of some of the other information, such as author, the journal in which these articles are located, and a number of other items in there as well. On the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see a range of options allowing you to find the full text of these particular items. So you'll note that some of these items have a PDF link, and others say full text at York. The best link to use is the full text at York link, as that will give you access to the full item through the University of York's library subscriptions. So always look out for the full text at York option. The PDF links are showing us freely available versions of these articles, so that's useful perhaps where the subscriptions from the library don't happen to cover the particular article that you need. So in the cases where we have full text at York, you would simply click on that link and that would direct you to the full text of that particular article that you've been looking at. There are a number of different things that you can do within Google Scholar. The first that we would recommend is to set up what's called a library link. And this is what will make that full text at York link appear. So within the settings menu, choose library links from the left hand side. And then you'll need to type University of York into the search box that appears on the screen. So type in University of York, as we're doing here, and then from the search screen, just select that search box. You'll get a list of things that match your search. Select the right ones, so we've got University of York selected here, and you would click Save. Because we have that selected already, I've just unticked it and save, so you can see what our results look like without the full text of York links. If we then go back into the library link section on the settings, we will just add that back in. So once again, we're going to type in University of York into our search box. You can see it's now not highlighted underneath our results. We need to select that from the list that appears here. So tick University of York and then click on Save. And then once again, we have our full text at York links available in our results page on the right hand side. The other thing that we would recommend you set up is the bibliography settings within Google Scholar. So within the settings page, we have the bibliography manager, which allows you to use a number of different reference management packages. The one we recommend at the university is EndNote. So if you select EndNote and save your settings, when we're redirected back to our results page, we then see the import to EndNote option as appeared here. And you can use that then to send that particular reference into your EndNote online library. Remember that Google Scholar is just one of many online resources which are available to use and we do recommend that you use a range of resources to help you gain the very best results from your search. The library makes available a number of these resources online for you to access and you can find details of all of these through your subject guide which you'll find online at subjectguides.york.ac.uk. There's a link to that from the library website and also from the university's VLE system.